Good morning, everyone. What could you achieve? What could you achieve if you had triple the number of teachers in your department? What if you could offer every single student in your Year 7 class truly individualised and differentiated support as they make that difficult transition from the one teacher, one classroom environment up into these specialised classrooms of high school? What if the children in our rooms could feel empowered as actual mathematicians conveying their thinking to others and honing their craft through constant feedback? What if the brightest students in your school who have a world of career possibilities laid out for them post-HSC could be guided toward a noble profession by just tasting a little bit of what it's like to help switch the light on for one of their friends? And what if you could see the joy in a child's face when they help a fellow student to master something they found impossible just a few weeks earlier? What if? Well, my answer to all of those questions is start maths pass in your school and find out. Uh, today I'm going to tell you what, who, why and how. What is maths pass? Who's in it? Why run it? How effective is it? So, firstly, what is MathsPass? MathsPass stands for Peer Assisted Study Sessions. About this time last year, I was, uh, had the opportunity to launch a new school-wide initiative of my own choice, and I instantly knew that I wanted to start up a peer tutoring scheme in maths. Now, to understand why, I need to give you a bit of insight into my own history as a learner. Now, to some people, and look, honestly, most of you guys, okay, Mathematics clicks from an early stage. You can master the skills rapidly, you see the connections between concepts uh, really quickly, and you advance from topic to topic with constant reminders like high test scores, nods of approval from your teacher, stickers and stamps in your workbook that, hey, yeah, you're good at this. I was not one of those students. Uh, I was more like this. Mathematics never came easy to me. I'd watch in my class as my friends around me would nod in synchronized agreement as the teacher talked through something that was completely opaque to me. Um, I was like this picture, not even like the brave kid with the chalk. I'm this guy on the side wondering like, yeah, but what if one plus one is actually a window? You know? <laughs> so I had to go home and beat on my textbooks for hours and hours until the inside came. Now, Around year 11 it was that I realised if I tried to actually talk through the maths and try and explain it to a friend, even if it sounded a bit ridiculous and awkward to begin with, I almost always understood things sooner and I had a deeper understanding as well. To this day, I actually believe the only reason why I'm any good at maths is because I stand up and I explain it for hours and hours and hours, just like we all will. Okay? Now, not only that, not only that, but when one of my friends explained things to me, it made the things click for me because they had a real grip on what I found difficult, right? Like every good teacher labours to remember what it's like to be a struggling learner. But my friend sitting next to me, he innately gets my struggle because he felt it 10 minutes ago when he was doing that same question in that really tough exercise. And so MathsPass was designed to tap into that spark, that special energy that you know, only ignites between people who are learning together. So, what? Who's in Maths Pass? Well, let's go back to that earlier image. At our school, we call for Year 7 students, and they who want help, and we also call for Year 11 students who want to give it. We ask the Year 7 students to tell us what they need help with, and we ask the Year 11s why they're willing to give our time to do this. And we trained the year 11s actually just a couple of days ago, I think. I put up a video which is an excerpt of the training session we did, one of the training sessions we did with the year 11s on working mathematically. We train them, we pair them up with the year 7s, and that's what you're looking at here. Um, we open up a classroom at lunchtime, the two students, the year 7 and the year 11, they book a time together, and then they meet every week on a day of their choosing, and this is what happens. Now, I've got to use this opportunity while the picture's up on the board um, to point out this guy in the back here. Okay? This is Aman, and his partner next to him is Hamza. Uh, I've got to tell you, by the end of the year, <laughs> Aman and Hamza were giving me some serious warm fuzzies anytime I saw them working together. Because you recognize that face, don't you? You recognize it. And you know what? By the end of the year, 
by the end of the year, Amman recognized it too, right? That's the face of capability, excitement. That's the face of joy in learning. And let's just remember for a second, that kid's doing maths, okay? That's why uh, we do this with year 7s and 11s, and it's incredib incredibly powerful. So, why run maths class? Well, formally, we had two complementary reasons. Number one, we wanted to create an environment for support. We wanted to assist struggling students, help them regain confidence in an encouraging space without the pressure of moving through syllabus dot points. We have to do it. That's our job, right? But they don't always work best under that really quick environment. And we also, you know, want to create an environment for them where they don't, we don't have to worry about telling that boy in the corner not to jump out the window. It's just them and their tutor. But secondly, we also wanted to create an avenue for service. We wanted to provide an opportunity for the proficient learners to be able to help others and strengthen their own skills in communicating and reasoning, which are huge in working mathematically. Not just that, create an environment, create an avenue, but also just, it works. It works. Uh, please come talk to me after, I don't have time in this seven minutes, um, or email me um, or Twitter me and I'll happily share some data from our surveys and evaluations. It was quite astonishing. Now, speaking of surveys and evaluations, last question, how effective was it? Well, as you can see, the Year 7s, they loved it. They loved it to pieces. Their feedback was consistently positive. The parents kept on asking me, is this free? Really? Like, I don't have to pay $60 an hour for this? It was, they were quite astonished, right? Um, the Year 11s as well, they must have thought it was something worthwhile because this year, the number of tutors who signed up was more than 50%, larger than the number we signed up last year. By the way, the 10%, 14.8%, that's of the cohort. So of the 350, 360 students we have in Year 11, this is how many came forward and how many Year 7s they were paired up with, right? Yeah, it's a big school. Okay, now, we've had to, as you can see, we've also had to expand. Uh, we, we opened up on Tuesdays and Fridays to begin with, and we just, we didn't have enough space. We had concertina doors opened up, two classrooms, we needed a third lunchtime. And just this year, we introduced the drop-in program, which is exactly what it sounds like. You've got some students, and they just need a bit of help, this one concept, and then they can progress. Well, we have some, some tutors who are devoted to just anyone who walks in, they're there to help. And lastly, um, I think, if my sound works, I'll leave it to the tutors themselves to give the final word. Cross your fingers, everyone. I was in your class before and I saw how excited you were when you, like, taught people. And, you know, that, that just moment of realisation when the students just get it, it just makes me feel really good as well. So when I, like, taught someone something, when they get it, it was just like, whoa, you know, I actually did something, I actually helped someone. When I was in Year 7, I always wish that somebody else had taught me in a different way or had like um, sort of listened to what I, my logic and what I was thinking at that time. And the best part was I cannot escape how awesome it is feeling when he just realises, you know, oh, this is how you do it. Oh, maths is actually, you know, not that bad kind of thing. What I liked about it most of all was that like that moment when they realised the answer and um, and like you look back at all your working and you're like, oh my god, it was so confusing. But now it makes sense, like so much sense at the end. I think Maths Pass is just great because it like unites students, like the students that like maths and the students that may not show as much interest in maths. But it allows people to, um, you know, teach students. And I think it's really going like serving the co um, community as well. I feel like if you sh everyone should be doing it. I don't understand why they're not because like a lot of the time I see like kids and I hear kids in the library like asking like talking to each other about math problems like I wish I just had like the time to go up to them and help them out. I think that it should be more extensive, it should be more people doing it and I think more schools should do it and I think it should be for more subjects as well.